you pass. Make sure that you pass. And here they're saying that regulation of salt, regulation of salt balance. How to write in exam? But before you know how to write in exam, you need to know how to work upon it. So it's the same thing, guys. It's the same, exactly the same thing. If you are saying that, normal level, cool. Increase, yeah, decrease in the level of salt, yes. The last statement will be increase in the level of salt. We know that. Then you need to know the gland which is produced, which is going to act upon the salt is adrenal gland. Don't forget that adrenal gland produces two hormones. The first hormone is adrenal gland, sorry, ald uh, aldosterone. The second one is adrenaline. So in this case, we don't want adrenaline because adrenaline is used as uh, emergency. It's a fight or flight. You either take off, you take off, or you have to fight. So that is adrenaline. We're not interested in adrenaline now. We're interested in aldosterone. So aldosterone is going to be produced because we have less. So what's the function of aldosterone? It also brings about the permeability. It brings about more reabsorption. I say that always use the word reabsorption. So adrenal gland, what's happening with adrenal gland? Adrenal gland is going to produce more aldosterone. And this aldosterone is going to make the nephron to reabsorb more sodium ions, more sodium ions, more sodium ions. The moment sodium ions are reabsorbed, the salt level will increase and goes back to normal. What about when the salt levels are increased in the blood? Then the last statement must be decreased. So adrenal gland will stop or will secrete less aldosterone, one of the two. And then now it means that it will be less reabsorption of sodium ions or there is decrease. The sodium ions uh, absorption, reabsorption will decrease. And the moment decrease, the level of salts will go back to normal. Now, this salt, aldosterone, al, sorry, aldo which means salt, al, salt, ne? salt, aldo, just for you to remember, ne? it's just for you to remember, it's not a big deal, yes, uh, this aldosterone, aldo, steron, works together with ADH, if there is too much salt, sodium ion, too much salt, yes? Meaning that uh, uh, the, there will be less reabsorption of salt. It means that there is less water. Too much salt, it means less water. Too much water, if there is too much water, then it means that there will be less salt. So these two, they work antagonistic in the opposite way. Yes. So meaning that when ADH brings about more reabsorption yeah there is a question i saw i'm gonna um, give it to you so that you I, I i i show you how you can answer how you can bring about the interaction of aldosterone and the adh at the same time so that you know you must know that when too much water is there you urinate urine which is colorless it means that that urine has less salts but too much water when you urinate urine which is yellowish it means that that urine has more salts but less water and that's exactly what happens in the body yes so i think uh, 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 i'm clear there then how do we write in exam how do you write in exam? We write in exam that when the salt level in the blood increases, yes, the adrenal gland will be stimulated. Will be stimulated. When it's stimulated, what happens? It's going to secrete less. If it is less, 
is, is going to produce less. It's going to produce what? Less aldosterone. If less aldosterone is there, it means that you're going to be less reabsorption because there is too much salt. Yes. More, uh, less reabsorption. And if less reabsorption occurs, what happens? It means that there will be a decrease. There will be a decrease in the, in, there will be a decrease in the, the salt concentration in the blood and then it will turn back to normal. What about when there is increase in the salt? So there is decrease in the salt. So the last statement must be increased, as I told you. Meaning that the adrenal gland will become more stimulated. Meaning that more aldosterone is going to be produced. And if more pro uh, produced, meaning that there will be more reabsorption. That's why you're seeing that increase in the reabsorption of sodium ions. And then once more sodium ions are reabsorbed back to the blood, meaning that the level of salts in the blood will increase and it will turn back to normal. So you see that uh, things are not as that difficult as uh, you see them. The only challenge which happens is uh, when it comes to the exam, sometimes ish, my students, you go off. So after covering this, then it, it means that I'm going to be focusing more on uh, these uh, topics understand so the next topic after this it will be uh tropism that is for tropism and the geotropism and it is gonna be live i'll be live yeah probably on friday or saturday for this topic but i'll let you know i'll let you know uh i'll send a link so that at least you you you, you don't get lost in that regard let's go to the last Sabo section. What is that? Is the uh, 